refresh ourselves and get ready for the ferry. Our day started with a nice cold ocean bath. With our morning bath out of the way, we soon found out that things might not go to plan as we hoped. <laughs> We're waiting to go to Kangaroo Island and it turns out our booking's been stuffed up. It's the 8pm one, not 8am Um So now we're on the standby list and we're waiting to see if we can get on one. With luck on our side, there was one spot left. Now it was time to see if we could squeeze in the troopy. The journey takes 45 minutes to cross 16 kilometers of ocean from Cape Jervis to Penishaw and it wasn't long before we were ready to start our Kangaroo Island adventure. Feeling a bit cheeky on the back roads, we ended up stumbling across one of our favourite wineries on Kangaroo Island. Dudley Wines. With the wines tasted and a bottle bought for the road, it was time to continue on our adventure. Next, we explored a few of the off-road areas on the east coast and happened to find some unexpected sites. How's the lube with the view, Zeb? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we wanted to find something that was a little bit more adventurous. After enjoying a good surf sesh and expelling some energy, we thought there was no better way to replenish our energy levels than by experiencing some of the tastes Kangaroo Island has to offer. So Debbie's pretty tired after his four hour surf. <laughs> now we're at the Clifford's Honey Farm. And Deb, you should go get into that. Go stick your head in it. It's <laughs> 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 so cute. We loved Clifford's Honey Farm not just for its amazing honey, but for its unique homey feel. There were so many homemade goodies, and did we mention? They have honey beer.
I don't know. I don't know if we should have went on this four-wheel drive track, but anyway. After getting lost on a four-wheel drive track that led to nowhere, we continued on our taste testing adventure. This time, we found something a little bit stronger. have a wide range of liqueurs and spirits on offer for tasting. With a unique range of flavours, you're sure to find something that will add a bit of a kick to your afternoon. Another great spot we found was the Kangaroo Island Brewery. It's a place where you can relax by the fire, get comfortable and even take your furry friend. <laughs> we don't personally have a dog, which is something we miss being on the road, but it was so nice to meet some people that didn't mind us playing with theirs. Had enough beer? More beer please. <laughs> After enjoying a nice afternoon tea at the Emu Bay Lavender Farm, we made our way across to Stokes Bay Campground to have a look around before we settled in for the night. Enjoying a cosy night by the campfire is one of my favourite things to do while travelling. But the secret little spot we found the next day was absolutely stunning. <laughs> 